Many families already in mourning wake up with the rest of us to the breaking news, a funeral home destroyed by fire. The alarm went out at but 20 minutes after 3 this morning, and less than 20 minutes later, firefighters on the scene called for backup. The Hefe Hefe home at 78th and West Center Road was fully engulfed. Four people were injured, three firefighters and an employee of the funeral home who arrived to help. All of them are okay and back home tonight. Now, the cause of this tragedy is not yet known, and not only does it leave the owners and employees of the funeral home devastated, the families who are preparing for funerals as well. Our Brandon Scott continues that part of the story live at 78th and West Center Road. Brandon? John, several funerals and memorials were planned here at this funeral home. And a funeral home official tells me that they're actually preparing for five or six services tomorrow. But with this building completely destroyed by fire, they've had to work with families to move those services to other locations. Firefighters were still putting out hot spots this morning when Jared Tinnen and his uncle Philip arrived at the funeral home looking for answers. I you know, wonder if your father was in this casket yet, was the casket open, just a bunch of unknowns. Jared's father, Lester Tinnen, died last week after a long battle with cancer. He was an Army veteran who loved golf, motorcycles, and airplanes. His family traveled from across the country for memorial services here today and tomorrow. But since Tinnen's body was inside the funeral home when the fire started, his family has canceled their arrangements. We had a family meeting earlier this morning and we decided that, you know, without my dad's body that we're not going to do a memorial um, and we're not going to do a funeral until we know, you know, exactly what happened. Investigators are still working to figure out what started this two alarm fire, which quickly spread throughout the funeral home, causing part of the building to collapse. A civilian inside and three firefighters were injured. Trevor Toey with Omaha's Firefighter Union says the entire department is relieved those injuries weren't life threatening. The collapses have killed many firefighters in the past and they probably will again. And two of our firefighters today said that to me. Um, exact words is we're really lucky someone didn't get hurt worse. With the fire completely extinguished this afternoon, crews moved in to recover the bodies which were being prepared for funerals while their loved ones watched and waited. It's unreal. It's, uh, you know, you're already dealing with the loss of a family member and then you put this on top of it, a fire of all things. Now, late today, we heard from the Omaha Fire Battalion chief, and he told us that crews are working hard to try to get all the remains out of this building before the end of the day today. But first, they need to make sure this building is safe. And John, uh, we also want to tell you that we spoke with the owner of this funeral home, and he said he's been in touch with most of the families and that he does plan to rebuild. All right. Thanks, Brandon Scott reporting live.